Three goals and three points for Borussia Dortmund getting that out the way ahead of a big weekend in the Bundesliga where we'll be seeing Leipzig take on Bayern Munich as well. There's a lot of talk about that as well. And uh, Jules, let's just talk a little bit though about what we did see in this game because you were watching it for us. What stood out to you? I mean, this, this Dortmund team is just incredible. For all the games under Terzic in the last, let's say, two years or so, where they've been good, they, they had chances, either could not take them, keeping and uh, making mistakes defensively, and they ended up adding, either drawing or losing the game th tonight. They were clearly not the better side. They scored because they got lucky or it was the opposition's mistake. I think that one of the best players was Kobol, the, the goalkeeper. Somehow they stay in the game and then they win it. And it shows you that Marco Royce, who's 34, who's now scored three Bundesliga games in a row, when we thought he was finished and just bound for the bench, is coming back. But this is still not a great Dortmund side. Let's be honest here, they've got Milan in the Champions League coming up. This was not a really good performance from them. Their, ex their expected goals is, is 1.7, so nowhere near the three goals that they scored, for example. They lost Ben Sebaini, who's having a shocking start of the season, to that red card. Whether you agree or not with the red card, again, he was in another game where he struggled. So, for, for a night where so many things didn't really actually go right, for them, they end up winning it. So, it's, this team is just fascinating to watch and to analyse and to follow and nobody could tell me what would happen on, in midweek in the Champions League against Milan because they are capable of an amazing performance and getting something out of the game or if they play like tonight without you know Mi Milan is not going to make the same mistake that Hoffenheim they're going to get battered by the Italians so tonight they take the three points they're very happy they're currently top of the Bundesliga which shows that by the way despite being a really on and off start of the season they're actually right up there around Bayern and, and Leverkusen